guys today I'm bringing a quick review of this EOS front plate mount for the G80 G82 M4 um, really it works it's easy to install especially for states who require your front license plate uh, I think it looks way better than just mounting it the dealer mount right in front of the nostrils over here um, but there are some definitely some issues with this from what I understand at least from my personal experience based on the way I'm mounting this um, it will trigger this far passenger side front parking assistant sensor right there um, if you mount it all the way over it will be, you'll clear this just fine but due to the angle of this bracket right here uh, I'm not sure if you can see this this is um, relatively perpendicular but you see right here this one it's a little bit further out over here compared to towards the center and this is as far as you could angle it with the included bracket so sometimes when you're going from a rolling stop at a like red light etc um, this sensor right here often do a false alarm and trip out as if like it's about to hit something um, it hasn't triggered an emergency stop for me yet but it's just really annoying especially when going from a red light um, and the weird thing is it doesn't happen all the time only only sometimes so something to take account of um, so what I do to counter this is go to car settings driver assistant we go to parking and maneuvering and I just disabled automatic PDC activation um, I mean it only activates at lower speeds and it does go away but this does prevent the annoying beeping of it of it tripping out thinking you're about to hit something in the front when it really shuts your front license plate bracket a way to prevent the automatic PDC from tripping you could just mount this all the way down to the top holes lowering the plate all the way down um, in theory it should prevent the automatic PDC sensors from tripping but um, I didn't choose to do it because I think it doesn't look good all the way down co covering the vent but that's something you could definitely consider or all the way up but then again you might end up blocking the headlights And uh, looking down here, you can see that this is as far right, I guess you could say. Uh, the bracket will allow you to go, but there's still a bigger gap here than compared to the front. So you could tell that it's not exactly parallel to the front of the bumper. It's this back plate over here that prevents the bracket from turning anymore, even though you technically can if you don't use it, which I'll try right here.
So as you can see, by removing the back of this, this is like small plastic guide rail for the back of the for the clamping mechanism for this angling bracket. You can actually angle the bracket a lot closer to your front bumper. Um, from what I can see right now, it seems to have cleared the PDC sensor pretty well. Um, one thing to point out is it does come a little uncomfortably close. So, you see, based on the gap right here, this does this is pretty close to it. Um, so, I probably it probably takes a little bit of finessing to move this bracket a little bit further away, like so. Um, um, so yeah, after a bit of um, adjustment, you can see right now, it's uh, pretty parallel to the front of the bumper actually. Um, the gap is right there, and from what I could tell from the PDC sensor, it's, um, it's pretty out of the way. So, so yeah, um, the front license plate mount, it's definitely doable to, just takes a little bit more adjustment compared to like the other products like the road plate, but you could definitely make it so it doesn't trip up the sensors if you don't want it. If you want, are okay with it sitting a little bit closer to the front bumper and not using the supplied rubber, I guess, guide for the adjustment rail, um, I will test that out and see how well it works, but from initial look, it looks pretty well. So after removing the guide piece, I realized that it is a lot easier to quote unquote swivel up and down, I guess because the only piece of contact the this curved plastic has with the tow hook is friction between itself and uh, there's like a small rubber washer not sure if we can focus yeah right there so there's only a small rubber washer that's between the tow hook curve piece and the tow hook piece so something to take into consideration and ultimately this is what it looks like with the plate on not too bad of course of course I think it looks the best without a plate but if you have to keep on a plate this is tolerable and there's another angle from the side angle from the top So yeah, this concludes my review. Please like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you guys think, what you guys want me to do next. And yeah, catch you next time. Peace.